Hello, this is Julie. Welcome to the Thrifty Paper Garden. Well, it is the end of the week and it is garage sale time. And I was so excited in my local paper, they had listed a section of all the community and church garage sales from now until or through September. So I have them all written down and I'll be ready to go so who knows what I will find it's always such a fun treasure hunt now I found this book and I don't think I intend to do the ribbon embroidery because I love to make paper flowers and I was looking at these pictures and when you look at a real flower sometimes it's kind of difficult to figure out how to piece together paper or fabric to resemble the different flowers but I thought this would give me just a little bit better idea of how to make each flower whether it be with ribbon or fabric or paper so that's kind of a fun book and then I found these shower hooks and they are Winnie the Pooh characters. Let's see, you got Tigger and Piglet and Eeyore and Tigger. So I thought I could, my husband can cut these off, and how fun that would be on a little baby gift or on a um, frame. I mean, even on a uh, card. They're pretty low profile, but just a fun little idea for crafting with um, baby things or ch children. And then I found a bunch of these. And you know how it is when you see something and your mind starts wondering about how you can use it. And I thought I'm going to work something up, whether it be with a giveaway or something, something fun that would involve everybody that wants to participate and um, something fun. So stay tuned for that. And then I found this little pack of cards and it's actually still sealed. But I enjoy finding the full size ATC size playing cards and I thought it would be kind of fun to have the little ones that we can use for tags or in pocket letters and and um, pockets and cards and mini albums and such and then I found several of these little paint cans and I'm not sure if I'm going to decorate them up and use them in my craft room or use them as gift boxes so to speak you know I wanted to get them they were good price and of course and I think okay what where do I store them uh, before I use them, but they were such a good price and such in good shape and I thought oh if you bought something like this at Michaels how much more you would spend for it And then I found this cloth covered wire and it looks vintage And let's see they're at 10 yards 32 gauge and I'm wondering if this is like the Prima um cloth wire and I'm going to be seeing if I can dye that different colors as a little bit of maybe um, you know from being stored so those were fun and then the little miniatures how pretty is that I have a cabinet with full-size teacups and I've started to collect a few of the miniature ones and so pretty. And then I found this transparency films and I've seen people buying the sequins and doing a lot of the the shaker cards and shaker pockets and whatnot. So I thought this would be it's not real heavy weight, but it doesn't I don't think it needs to be very heavy weight. Um to make those shaker cards so I thought this would be a good way to try to make those and then linens I found I think it's like a table 
runner. Just really pretty design on it. The floral. And I found a shirt that has this beautiful trim on it. So I'm not sure if I'm going to cut out the separate flowers or along the bottom of the shirt. It's actually in a trim. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that, but really, really pretty. And then the last thing was, I assume this is a tablecloth. And I saw the little tiny doily-like medallions. And it's just a really pretty piece. I always struggle with um, cutting these pretty pieces up but lots of usable pieces for crafting. But again, I just really liked these little round doily looking things. So those are the things that I found today. Um, I'm hoping to go to a town um, not too far away on Saturday. They have a community sale. So that's it. We'll talk to you later. Thanks so much for stopping by.